so gang, it's your girl like so. Hey, hey, hey. So y'all today I'm here with a tutorial. I know I give it to you. Anyway, um today I'm gonna teach you the most fastest, easiest way to make you a second life marketplace banner. So I know everybody does Photoshop and you know they have people like me who don't have the time to learn Photoshop. So you know we like um how can you like bypass this because like it'd be too much to like calculate. Even unless you like find people who are great at breaking stuff down and getting straight to the point. But others like me who are slow <laughs> and can't catch on very fast, we do it the easy way. So, today apps you're going to need for this video is Fun So For Your Funts. And I'm also going to teach you guys how to install a Funt into Funto in case you don't bang with any of the Funts that come in Funto. Because like me, I don't like those Funts and I'm very creative so I want to be different. And today we're going to also use or might use the app Remy. Remy is just an enhancer for your picture to look all nice and stuff. Um, you guys probably heard of it, but you know, we're going to be using that or might use it depending. Uh, we'll also be using IBIS Paint X and we will also and might use PicArts. So you guys be ready for that. Make sure you go install all the apps that I just told you. And if you have some of them from most of my previous tutorials, then you know, you're on board. Other than that, before we even get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to EXO Gang, and let's get it! All right, EXO Gang, so the first thing that I am going to teach you guys before we even get into starting a Second Life Marketplace banner, um, before we even start, though, make sure you guys have a file place on your phone. So, like, with iPhone, you know we have our files app, and, you know, you can store things there. You have a Android. I'll, I'll say you use the documents that I used to have on my iPhone for when like, I put music and stuff. Because it's like very easy. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you have a file place to store your font because you're going to need it. But other than that, um, first step, you're going to use Safari or you're going to use... Um, Google Chrome, you know I have both apps, but apparently I'm trying to keep my storage up to date. <laughs> like, don't have unnecessary stuff on my phone. But you're gonna go to Safari, and you're gonna look up what type of font you want. So I'm gonna just look up this particular font that I need. Okay, I'm gonna call it the signature font. Um, one app you could use is Font Space. Um, I don't know which one I like, so I normally just um, I just download a bunch of them. Um, uh, I'm trying to see which one I don't mind having. But you're gonna press the blue cloud button with the down arrow and you're gonna press download for you guys and my ex well for like my Microsoft Android people it might ask uh do you are you sure you wanna download it or do you wanna pass it through the security, etc. etc. Um that's what it might ask. I'ma also go with this one too. I told you I'm gonna download multiple of them. So in that case, you can see me do this three times. Cause I think that's, I'm gonna do this one too, it looks cute. So you're gonna see me do it four times actually. Okay you guys, so at the bottom left, 
by the um size of the front like logo button you're gonna see the down arrow with the circle which it lights up blue when you download some online so next once this menu pop up you're gonna go to downloads and it's gonna have a blue circle to let you know that you have things there that you downloaded um i'm gonna go front by front so all you're gonna do is press it it's gonna go to your front folder and you have to remember what the name of the font was so it's premium i hope i said that right is this one right here that i just pressed that you just saw me press and you're gonna go in the folder and you should look for a little paper that looks like this once you see this you're gonna go to the bottom left and you're gonna see a box with an up arrow you're gonna press it and you're gonna see your fonto app once you see your fonto app you're gonna click it it's gonna ask you would you like to install this font into the app once this pop up you're gonna press installed and it's gonna tell you that you have successfully installed that font once you do that you're gonna just go back and do it for all the other ones um so we gotta look for this new uh new font okay it's called the darlington font He's gonna give a folder. Okay. You're gonna go to the font file and you're gonna press Fonto. Install, fully installed. Then, see, exit out of all of this. Then, you're gonna go back, install a new font. This one starts with a B. So, this is gonna look in the B place. And we're going, oh! Also, another thing, some font folders have like the bold font style for the style, <laughs> yeah. And some had the, uh, you know, the like regular front font style. Um, so in this case, I don't know. We about to see. That is one. This is the other one. Let's see. Oh, it's the same thing. I guess they put it in there twice to make sure you have it. So it's that. Um, this is our last one. It starts with a B, brother side signature. You're going to click it. You're going to go to the front file. And you're going to press Fonto. And you're going to install it. And it should be installed. Now the thing is, that's how you install Fonto. <laughs> I install Fonts and Fonto, y'all. My bad. I am tweaking. But now we're going to get to the next part of the video, which is the most important part. But I had to show you this, guys, in case you did not like any of the fonts that are in Fonto. Now, if you do, you can get along with the video. <laughs> All right, gang. So the first step of making our banner for Marketplace, um, you're gonna go to Google or you're gonna go to Safari, and you want to look up like um whatever background that you would like for your banner. As you guys know, I love flowers. Flowers are my thing. I like flowers. Um, and of course they have to be anime flowers. Um, so I just find pretty background. So I'm not going to save any because I have one that I want to use already. 
unless I see some else like this maybe see those like paintings or whatever like as y'all know yeah I like anime flowers so like take this time out to pause the video and find whatever background you want to use um if you find your background already then we can continue on with the video if not like I say just pause the video and start it back once you find your background so if you got that uh next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to pick arts and once it loads we're gonna go down to the bottom plus button and the create options should pop up um we need to make a transparent background for when we do our logos on photo I mean fonto yeah fonto you gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom till you see color backgrounds and the first one is a transparency background what you want to do is you want to go to your bottom left corner and you want to press tools and you want to press crop i am going to put it about three two just to give it a good size for me for whatever i put on there make sure everything has a good amount of room um you're gonna press apply then you're gonna press next and then you're gonna go to the bottom left then you're gonna press save and it should save it should tell you it saved oh i should do like a little vibration um once you do that you're gonna slide out of pick arts and the first thing that you're going to do is we are going to go to fonto now with fonto what i'm gonna do is go down to the bottom to the camera and you're gonna press photo album and it might ask you do you want to allow Fonto to upload all your your whole gallery onto Fonto so you could use whatever you need to use. Um, that's all you have to do. Um, but as you see, as our first picture, our transparent background, which is white. Um, you're gonna press that one, and you're gonna press done, and it should pop up like this. You're gonna click anywhere on the screen, and you're gonna press add text. So. I have my name of my store, which is totally with an exclamation point. I love exclamation points. Um, Y'all, I didn't spell totally right. I'm going all fast and stuff. But yeah, the name of my store is totally. And I am going to press font. And if you are on font... They have fonts here you can try, but like I told you, I don't like these. So you'll go to my fonts, and they'll show all the fonts that we downloaded together before we even started this part of the video. Um, let's see. I'm not going to use any of the ones that I downloaded just because um, I don't need those right now. So, I'm going to use something else, probably like this. Yeah, probably this, but originally my, it looks like this. So, I'm going to use my food to, um, what? And I am going to, I'm going to take the exclamation point out because, I don't it's like default and uh not my phone no my youtube thing anyway <laughs> once you put your name on there um oh look i have to get a, a new exclamation point i'm gonna do a cloud one um because yeah i like that i gotta see which one it is though is this one okay so this the name of my store is called totally next you're gonna click your store name and you're gonna put press style and i am gonna do a back a black outline it's not gonna be too big and i'm also gonna go to styles at the top right by done and i'm gonna press the fourth style option and i'm gonna leave it black just so it doesn't you know go too crazy 
Then I'm going to slide my exclamation point to my liking or position it to my liking. I'm also going to press it and press style on here. And I'm I'm going to do a stroke. For some reason it's not popping. Oh, there it goes. I'm going to do a stroke. And I'm going to style. I'm going to press my fourth option again. And it should look like this. I'm going to push it together somehow or like just close enough to where it looks like it goes. Um, That should be good enough. Next, I am going to press anywhere, press add text. And I am going to put my name. And I'm going to go to front, and I'm going to go to this. Ooh. Okay, y'all. I'm going to use my uh, August 2nd, 2003 front. Um, then I am going to style it first. And I am going to make it pink. You could play with the, our, the Roji bib levels down there. And you could create any color that you would like. But my sh Stroke is going to be white, and my style is going to be the fourth option, but it's going to be white 3D. And I am going to size it down, and it's going to look like this. Somewhere like that. That's not bad. Hmm. Wait, let's see if I'm just gonna see if this style if the other styles have like they don't have like exclamation point. Crazy. Don't have exclamation point styles. That's crazy. Before I go on with this. Cause I like it but then I don't like it at the same time. But I might just go with it in the first place. And we're just going to go with it in the first place. Boom. So, at this point, next I'm going to add when I started this. So, everybody likes to put East a dot. And then this year is 2022 and I'm going to put it at the bottom. Oh, what if I, hell no. <laughs> I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to go to style and I'm going to make it white. Or should I do white and a pink stroke? with a, a 3d back and the color is going to be the pink and now nah, i should keep it simple um it's gonna be the black outline and it's gonna be the black 3d yeah simple 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 Next, I'm going to go to the bottom right, and I am going to press the box that has the up arrow, and I am going to press save P as PNG, ugh, save as PNG, Lord Jesus, and then it's going to save successfully. If you press OK, you're going to get an ad, which we don't want to hear that. So, we have our logo. Next, we're going to go to IBIS Paint X, and we're going to press my gallery. We're going to press the plus sign at the lower left corner. Uh, once you do this, according to uh, Second Life Marketplace ban of rules, um, your your banner has to be 700 width and 100 height. So you're gonna type that in at the second column, which is right here. Mine is already in. Once you do that, you're gonna press the OK. As you can see, it's very small, crazy. So. Once you do this, you're going to press You're going to press the camera at the lower left corner 
which is right here it says in for photo library once you do that first we're going to pick your background that you had um yeah i really don't know <laughs> i'm just gonna try all mines out to see which one i like best Once you pick your background, you're going to go right back to the same camera on the left. And you're going to press your logo. Your logo is going to blow up like this. Um, I might change my stuff up. I might do totally big and then put east to something something in like a corner or something. But you know what? It doesn't even matter. This looks okay. So I'm going to center it all nice and stuff. And you're going to press cancel. I'm going to press on my photo logo again, and uh, I guess I'm going to add some cute things on to it. Oh yeah, I'm trying to see what I want to add. I'm going to add my old logo back. Then, I want it on both sides, so I'm going to go to the duplicate button, add special layer. I believe, yeah. Add special layer, you're going to press duplicate layer. Once you duplicate layer, you're going to have the invert layer horizontally button on your right. You're going to press that, and it's just going to flip me to the other side. And our logo should look like this. And it looks all cute and stuff. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so our logo looks like this for our shop. Um, Once you create it, I'm going to let you guys know right now. Something is going to happen once we detail it. But we'll get further into that once we um, get to that point. Um, so once you finish your um, banner. Remember you guys. You don't have to move as fast as me. Just take time and pause the video. But if you are done. You're going to go to the bottom right. And they have an arrow that is pointing to the left. You're going to press save as PNG and it's going to save. Then you could just wipe out your app. Once you do this, we're going to go to Remy. Woo! Apparently we have to use it today, you guys. Now with Remy comes with a Remy comes with a lot of ads. I'm going to just let y'all know that. I have to play the ads through so we could get to the main points. Other than that, if your picture doesn't pop up, most likely it's not because Remy doesn't detect a face. You're going to press other photos. And your album is going to pop up. And you're going to press your logo. See, like I told you, they don't detect the face. So, you're going to press enhance with watch ad. You have to play the sound. So... now in the app store okay once your reward is granted you guys it's gonna look like this so like you can swipe and it'll detail it for you as much as it can like this 
You're just going to swipe it from the left to the right. I mean to the right to the left. <laughs> you're going you're gonna, to, yeah, from the right to the left. Then you're going to press it again. It's going to ask you, do you want to ride by the, um, the membership? You're not going to buy it. Just ask that to save again. Then we have to watch this ad again. Okay, reward is granted again. Then it's gonna save it if you're um if your like text looks all what she what she like mine's is looking right now with my logo. All you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to IBIS Paint X and you're gonna press the um add button at the bottom left. Then you're gonna press import picture. And the picture that we just did, as you can see, is right here, which is our first one. Uh, you're going to go to the layer button at the bottom right with the number one in it. You're going to press the camera on your left, and you're going to pick your logo again. So with this, uh, you really just want to... You really just want to uh, line it up with how you had the logo the, before... And it should look like this. Oh no! Add it as many times as as many times as you would like, so it could look somewhat better. Um, I'm gonna just duplicate mine again and see how far it takes me by duplicating it to the liking of me. So, um. This is going to look like this. I'm going to let you guys also know when you put your banner on Marketplace, like your quality gets taken. I don't understand why that happens. And I think it's because they bunch it all up together for some reason. But besides that point, uh, once you detail your logo again, you're going to go to the bottom left, press Haha, <laughs> you're gonna go to your bottom right, press the arrow that is pointing to the left, and you're gonna press save as PNG. Once you do this, you're going to go to your photo album and you're gonna go to the logo and you're gonna email it to yourself. And I will see you guys at my laptop. Okay, so gang, um, so. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to my email and you you want to go get the banner basically out your email, whatever email you sent it to, um, which is right here. And now you guys know my full real name. Uh, anyway, um, it's going to download. Uh, next, you want to go to a link called uh, to be funky or it's be funky is one of the two you guys I'm gonna go look for it I will put the link in the description below so you don't have to constantly go look for it which is this app right here called the be funky um that's the last project I work on we're gonna press start new so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press open at the top and you're gonna press computer and it's gonna open all your files in your computer. This is our banner. Right now is at a big maximum size right now. But you're gonna press the three um, level logo right here that says edit. And you're gonna go to resize. And right now our stuff is, is at 1,400 width and 200 height. So, Next, you want to check your lock aspect ratio, and um, you want to put 700 uh, width by 100 height. Once you do that, it might automatically do it for you. If not, you know, put it in. Um, you're going to apply it, and it's going to resize it. Once it does that for you, you're going to press save at the top, and you're going to press computer. 
and I'm gonna put it all the way up to 100 so I can get the best quality of the app and I am gonna I don't know if I should do it as a, J, a JPEG or um, a PNG but I'm gonna just we're gonna do it as a PNG it says extremely high quality image and we're gonna press save once you do this we're gonna go to our marketplace and you want to go to my marketplace and you want to go to a merchant's home once you go to merchant's home you're gonna go down to store setup and you're gonna go to edit store information once you do that and if you haven't already you can put in your store name your profile policies uh link to your, like your Flickr if you make one or uh, link to your in-world store if you have one and you also have your store image mine is my logo for my youtube channel and um this is our store banner and you can also add like friends as managers online etc etc to help your customers with their stores um but we're doing a banner today and all we're gonna do is we're going to go to choose file. Once this pops up, we're going to go to the one that we made on Be Funky, and um, which is 700 by 100. It's going to load right there. Next, you want to press save. And once you press save, your store is updated. So, how can you view this and share your store with your friends? You would go to... You just go to view my store under store setup and basically it'll look like this and it'll look all nice and stuff other than that though i hope this video helped you out i hope i wasn't up there uh, <laughs> i hope i wasn't stuttering too much to the point to where you couldn't understand what i was saying um i hope i helped you out the best way i can other than that, before we end this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys go copy my post pack. If you want to know more information about this post pack, it is on my Instagram at totally.ps, which stands for totally post shop. Um, and I also have my Instagram at totally.xl. Uh, you can see all my pictures of my virtual life and you can also keep up to date to, for every time I upload a new post pack, etc, etc, that I make in the future and I share with you guys. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking now because I know this video is very long now, but like, comment, and subscribe to XL Gang and I love each and every single one of y'all and see you up next upload. Bye! I'm a stylish girl At the age of 18 I'm next up Nice to have you on my team In Louisiana trying to live a dream Who can only make